Hi, welcome. This is Yin Yoga for Stress and Anxiety Relief. My name is Kirsten and I'll guide you through three postures and a 20 minutes practice to really ground back into peace. For this practice, we will need a bolster that can look like a real yoga bolster or that can also be just a big pillow from your bed. So get ready for the practice. Let's sit down before we actually start sitting down. Sit down comfortably. Take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Take one more breath like that. Inhale through your nose. And exhale, sigh it out. And the third one. Inhale through your nose. And sigh it out. Good. All right. We are ready for the practice. So for this practice, we will start with legs up the wall. So I'll invite you to simply lie back down. You will need now your prop, your bolster or your big pillow. Lie back on your back in the middle of the yoga mat. This is a posture that specifically addresses stress. So you want to take your bolster. You want to roll your hip up and set your bolster underneath your sacrum so here very important that is not the full hip that is, is supported on your bolster it is just the sacrum the lower part of the sacrum the effect of placing your bolster like that is that you can easily effortlessly keep your legs up and that's what we want feet together or not touching doesn't matter uh, the knees are naturally a little bent in Try to find this spot in which you can really relax your legs. So no efforting in the hip flexors, not in your abdomen, not in your thighs. If it doesn't feel right yet, play a little bit with your bolster, perhaps push it a little bit further away from you. Once you're there, lie back, relax, see what you wanna do with your hands in this practice. They can be out at shoulder level with the palms face up. They can be closer towards your hips with palms face up. Your hands can be interlaced. You can grab hold of the opposite elbow or overhead. See what feels right in the moment. See what really helps you relax. See what helps you to come to a sense of feeling comfortable. Once you're there, close your eyes and allow your entire body to deeply relax. Yin yoga is all about deep relaxation. The deep relaxation of the body will touch your nervous system, will touch the way how you feel. So try to really make full use of this practice by relaxing as fully as you can at this moment, allowing the forehead to soften, the jaw and grip. Let your eyelids be soft. Soften all the muscles around the neck, the shoulders. If you feel the chosen position for your arms doesn't allow for a deep relaxation of your shoulders, now is a good time to really change that and find a position that is actually inviting this deep relaxation into your body. Relaxing the chest. The back, the belly, the hips.
relax your legs so it's totally okay that they are a little bent. But um, be as soft as can. And as your body is now in a state of relaxation, draw your attention to your breath. The breath is flowing through the nose only. Watch what's happening to the breath currently. Is it short or deep? Is it more in the chest? More inside? Or is it a breath that flows towards the outside, towards the ribcage, into the belly? Consciously, we breathe three times as we initially did. Take a breath in through your nose. And exhale, side out through your mouth. Do that again. Inhale through your nose. And side out through your mouth. One last one. Inhale through your nose. And side out. And come back to a breath that only flows through your nose. And see if you can invite that breath to move as deep as to actually move your abdomen. See if your breath as you inhale can actually gently lift the abdomen. And as you exhale, allowing all of this to drop back in towards the midline. It's not a major movement, that is a gentle movement of the belly. Keep focusing on breathing into your belly. Inhale, expand. And exhale, soften. Inhale, expand. Exhale, soften. You stay here for three last breaths in legs of the wall. After your third breath, slowly start bending into your knees. Draw your arms next to the body in case they are not yet there. And gently lift your pelvis and push the bolster from underneath you, out from underneath you. Drop both of your feet back to the ground. Elongate your legs. And just take a moment here to be still. Allowing this practice to really slow, slow down and soften both at the same time. Both so much needed in order to come back to peace, to release stress and anxiety. Stay with your natural breath, with the breath flowing into the belly. Gently lifting the abdomen and letting them soften. Plant both of your feet and drop your knees over towards one side. Roll onto your side and gently help yourself back up to sitting. For the next practice, we'll need the bolster once more or the pillow. The next practice is to work a little bit more into expansion of the chest, which is so necessary to come into openness, softness, and peace. So we are sitting right in front of that bolster, extending the legs. 
So you're not on the bolster, you're sitting just in front of the bolster and slowly lie back onto your bolster, onto your pillow. Find comfort here. Bringing one hand onto your belly, one onto your chest. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable with that. Come back to the sense of deep relaxation of the body. And feel how your breath moves in your body by feeling your hand move. Is it only the hand on the belly moving? Only the hand on the chest or both? With this posture, we want to specifically invite the breath into the rib cage, into the sideways of the rib cage. So with your next inhale, try to bring the air into the sideways of your rib cage. You can even slide your hands onto the sides of your rib cage. And as you inhale, Try to press the rib cage gently into your hands and as you exhale, allow it all to soften back in towards the midline. Inhale, create this gentle, subtle expansion in the rib cage. And exhale, let it all come back in. One more breath like that. Inhale, expand your rib cage and exhale, soften. You may now just drop both of your hands to the floor, palms facing up. And stay connected with your breath as you breathe. Direct your breath into the sideways of your rib ca cage, expanding. And exhale, let it all soften down. It's really important that we expand our breath this way. A short, shallow breath keeps us tight. And the expansion of the breath, especially into the sideways of the ribcage, is what helps us to feel actually more open, more grounded and safe at the same time. So keep on Breathing each inhale, gently, naturally, widening the sideways. And as you exhale, so let it soften naturally. And stay here for three more breaths. After your third breath, slowly in your own time, plant both of your feet. And drop your knees over towards one side, roll off your pillow or a bolster. Come onto your side for a moment. Just rest here in stillness. Gently push that bolster or pillow off your yoga mat and ground yourself back onto the floor. Come back with your legs extended, your arms beside the body. And feel how you created already more space inside of yourself just by breathing. The breath flows more freely into your belly, into your sideways. The breath is more complete. For the next posture, we draw both knees into the chest. 
bring your arms out to the sides at shoulder level. You may want to turn your palms down for that and slowly drop your knees down towards your left side. Let both of your legs rest onto the ground. Release the weight of your legs. And then slowly turn your head over towards your right side. Once you're here, close your eyes. And deeply relax and rest. Soften your facial expression. Your neck your shoulders, your arms, your chest. Relax all the muscles around the spine. Release your hips and your legs. Twistings are so very healing for the nervous system. They're inviting an equilibrium into the nervous system that is perceived as a greater sense of grounding, a sense of being safe, a sense of being okay. You stay here for three more breaths. Now after your third breath, slowly turn your head back to center. And as you inhale, bring your knees back to center. So the body is now in a centered position. Whenever you feel ready, continue to practice on the other side. Slowly drop your knees over towards your right side. Let them rest. Once your legs are on the floor, the weight is shifted. Turn your head over towards your left side. And deeply relax. Savoring this posture of unraveling the spine, bringing an equilibrium into the nervous system and a sense of peace. The breath is flowing naturally through the nostrils. Each inhale feels like a subtle expansion in the spine, in the chest, in the belly, in the hips, in the shoulders. And with each exhale, allow it to soften more. Release. Come to peace. Stay here for three more breaths. After your third breath, whenever that is for you, turn your head back to center. And on inhale, bring your knees back to center. Drop your feet onto the ground and extending one leg at a time. Draw your arms a little bit closer in, down towards the hips and thighs. Turning the palms up 
and coming for a final moment of relaxation into Shavasana. As you're here in Shavasana, let a wave of relaxation from down upwards pervade your entire body and being. Relaxing toes and feet and heels. Relaxing calves and shins and knees and thighs. Deeply relaxing the hips, the lower back, the belly, the chest, the upper back, the shoulders. Relaxing the fingers, the hands, the arms the neck, and all of the facial expression. Enjoy the sense of being at home in your body, being at home in your breath. complete peace and ease with yourself. Drawing both of your hands onto your heart. Just take a moment here to acknowledge and pay gratitude to yourself for making it onto the mat today, practicing. And step by step, contributing by your own actions to a life that feels more free, more grounded, more peaceful. Stay here as long as you like. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time on the mat. Namaste.